Thanks for sticking with us. In this week's Behind the Business, we're taking a trip to Diamond Head, and that's because this particular business travels to wherever you are and the events. Here's how one woman became a food trucker in one of the most trying times, basically building it from scratch. Hey guys, it's your girl Tan from Meatballs Food Truck. For nearly four years, Tan Clark has traveled hundreds of miles yes, cooking and like serving up her style of Jamaican food. After COVID forced several businesses to close, that's when Clark decided she wanted to explore entrepreneurship for herself. My job was closed. I've been on my job for um, over 10 years. So I kind of went in survival mode, like, you know, what are you going to do now? And then I was reminded that I always wanted to be a food trucker. So I said, well, now is your time. You know, if, if there's ever a good time, now is it. After a trip to Florida, I think it was like Craigslist. And this guy said he'll sell me an empty trailer he had. Weeks of renovations. So we first laid the floors and then we did the walls, like stainless steel panels for the wall. Then installing a grill and fryer. Clark was ready to put meatballs on the road. So we did a little bit at a time, just a little bit at a time. Um, the window, um, just every little thing we thought we needed done. We did it. Eager to share her husband of 19 years, Jamaican culture across the Gulf Coast and neighboring states. So over the years, I learned to cook the food that he liked. You know, he has a wonderful mother. She always would give me recipes, tell me how to make it, tell me if it was good. So I asked my mother-in-law, I said, what do you think if I make my oxtails? And she said, I think they would love it. And I said, but I really want to do jerk chicken also. And she said, I think you should make jerk chicken too. She was on board. She was like, you know, just don't change the recipe. Now, I've been to Jamaica one time. I would love to go back. And I've noticed, like, their, their red beans and rice is different from ours here. It is. It's less beans, more yes. rice, and not as, you know, green. Yes, it's, not, it's more, um, and I don't want to say dry. No. But um, you kind of get the flavor from the gravy, you know, because most things either come with gravy or jerk sauce. Clark says she's thankful for her family's support and monetary donations that helped her make it this far while still maintaining her full-time job in hospitality. You know, I've, I've, um, I've encountered a great deal of love and kindness doing this. And I, re I really enjoy it. I genuinely enjoy it, you know. And I've met so many people. I go everywhere. It's, it's interesting. It, it really is, you know. And, and, I, and I have to say, I've made a lot of money doing it, you know. And I, I literally found a way to make a living for myself.